Yo, what's cracking everyone? It's your man, Mr. Fomer Simpson, back with another video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that said, let's check these out. Drum roll, please. Bang, bang. The Victor Cruz Nike Air Trainer in the Haystack colorway. Very dope sneaker. It's hard to go wrong with a pair of wheat kicks in the fall or winter. Now, I was excited to pick these up. However, I'm actually going to return them, and here's why. These are trashed on the low. I can deal with a little glue and a couple flaws. I'm not a nut job about that kind of stuff, but peep this razor blade gouge mark on the toe. Like we're employees playing darts in the back and somebody just grazed my pair or what? You can see there's a couple other marks and imperfections, not to mention the suede is super warped and wrinkly. They probably used a senior citizen cow to make my pair. They took this cow straight out of the nursing home. He was chilling with a glass of warm milk, playing dominoes with the homies, and all of a sudden, it's time to go, man. We're about to turn your soggy ass into a sneaker. And now I got them. It sucks too because the material quality on these is actually pretty awesome. This leather around the ankle and on the interior is love. And even the suede is soft and buttery. I made the mistake of not even looking at them before buying. I was in a rush, so I just paid for them and got out of there. Rookie move. Aside from the flaws, I think the shoe is executed nicely. It kind of has that fusion feel to it, which I'm not usually a fan of, but these look dope. That texture on the back half, this front strap is dope. Dance to greatness, as you can see. P.S. That is the best touchdown celebration in the NFL. I think the speckled midsole works nicely as well. And I really like the red swoosh on the side. Gives them a little bit of pizzazz. Not just all wheat like we've been seeing a lot lately. Gummed out bottoms with a couple more red hits. This really is a nice sneaker and it does have a premium feel to it. I just wish it didn't look like somebody played kickball in them. So back to the store these go. Hopefully I can find another pair in better shape. Let this be a lesson to us all. If you're buying a pair of kicks in store, always inspect them thoroughly before purchasing. And on that note, thank you for watching. You are appreciated. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Links will be below. And until next time, Mr. Fomer Simpson, out.